G'day guys, Manny from Extreme Auto, Karen in Camping with you again today. A bit of a tech talk. Um, I thought I'd take this opportunity to uh, just wing it with this one and get some info out there because we get hit up with so many emails and um, this will, I believe, will cover a few bases and hopefully be a little bit more informative for you guys so you can nut out your own systems um, and or if you've got any questions, hit us up. So off-grid setups, like why do we do them? Um, why are there differences between them um, and all the variables in between the amount of solar we use, DC charging, why do we use a Red Arc DC charger, a 50, why do we use an Orion and then you'll see an Enerdrive, um, vice versa, why do we use different size stuff? Well, the straightforward answer is every job is different and it's all based around consumption and, and in all the factors of like, you might have a vehicle with a very average alternator, you might have a vehicle with a great alternator. Um, you might want a fast charge of lithium batteries, you might not care about fast charging, you might just want to pot along. Uh, all these variables change, so we have to work with it and budget and weight, you've got that to factor in as well. So we try and work with you to size up a system that's going to work. But at the end of the day, um, it all comes down to consumable. The first question that I will ask, and I always ask, is what do you want to run and how long for? After that, we get into vehicle type, uh, vehicle driving style, um, you know, camping situations. You know, do you park in the shade? Do you, you know, are you coastal? Are you winter campers? Are you summer? There's so many variables. Some people just say, look, just give me the biggest system you can. And then that's fine, but how big's big? <laughs> you could go to town with it. It's, it's all based on uh, storage and replenishment. That's what it's about. If you, if you think of it like, like a water tank and, and, a, and a roof structure, if you've got a very large span in roof structure, you're going to capture a lot of water when it rains. If you don't have the tanks to store that water, well, what's the point? You'll be charged really quick, or you'll be full really quick. But that's the point. If you size it right, there's no, there's no, it's not gonna hurt. Like if you had a massive, oh, well, we'll go back to solar and batteries. If you had a crap load of solar, if you had six caravans behind you, all the thousand watts on the roof, and each had its own charging system, all charging 10 kilowatt hour battery bank, you're going to charge that battery bank really quick but you're still limited to that battery bank. The difference being is, if you can charge up that battery really quick, that's the key. So whenever I get asked, what's the right size system for me? Well, once we get through the consumption stage, I'll always go, you can never have too much solar. Those are the facts. Your regulators will charge control what is happening. It's overcast today, it's raining. I've got nearly 1200 watts of solar going on here, and I'm only putting in four to 500 watts. My point being is, see how it's relevant. So if you were to scale that up, that, that ratio there would still be there. So if, if you know, 1,000 watts of solar putting in just over a third, if I had 10,000 watts of solar, I'd be putting in a third. It doesn't change. The point is, it's, it's always variable. You can't control the sun. It would be great if we could, but the sun's not always shining. So you take advantage of when it is, and that's great, but... <laughs> We're, it's a battery charger, all right? Your solar, your solar actually doesn't run anything. You gotta remember that with, a, with an off-grid caravan system. Your solar charges the batteries and your batteries run the items. It's what's a, a DC coupled system. Essentially, it is charge sources coming into the battery and then you pull from the battery. So as long as you've got a good quality battery bank that can support the demand and the loads, uh, the charge and discharge, then you won't have a problem. The size of that battery bank with lithium, um, specifically lithium, it's all relevant to what you want to do and how long it for. So you kind of have to go, well, if I've got an air conditioner and you're only going to run it during the day and you've only got a one, one, I don't know, three and a half kilowatt battery, well, that's fine. As long as you've got the solar to support it, i.e. more solar coming in than what the air conditioner is using, you won't be using battery capacity at all. You know, essentially solar's coming in and keeping the battery topped up and then the rest of the energy just keeps keeps on going through the air conditioner. So sizing up the system will always vary on so many factors. So just remember guys, there, there's no blanket rule through me. I don't do that. I don't build a board, package A, package B, package C. No, we. every little job is uniquely designed on that consumable. 
much easier like that. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of information on the off-grid setups that we do and how we size them accordingly to suit your needs. Thanks for watching.